This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In today's episode of On Drop Rate, we are taking on the first raid of the series, the Tombs of a Mascot. With point systems being a factor in this raid for receiving uniques and being made even worse with all the different invocations you can add that changes up the drop rates, I have decided to approach this challenge slightly different. Now before we get into the explanation, the item I'm going for in this video is the Light Bearer, which has a 1 in 3.43 chance to drop when you get a unique. So how am I going to tackle this drop rate? Well, to reach the drop rate, I will allow myself to do any invocation level, solo or team, until I claim up to three uniques in my name. If I have not seen the light bearer in those three drops, I will fill the remaining 43% chance of the 1 in 3.43 drop rate by completing 10 expert level raids, which I will make sure have all a 4.3% per completion. Additionally, any purples my team gets are not counted for those three I'm hunting, but the split I receive for those items will contribute to the potential giveaway at the end. I am well aware that this is a bit confusing, but it's the best method I could think of for this challenge. With that explained, let's enter the tombs of a mascot and hunt down a light bearer. Starting off the video with a 250 raid, and during this entire video I will have a TOA points overlay rune light plugin right here that shows the points I got. I got 18,224 points during this raid, and the chance of getting a purple on this is 3.31%. I'm not sure if this is 100% accurate, but it should be in the ballpark, and the first loot is a white beam. Hopped in a duo, did a 250 with Max Nick who has an elusive twisted bow. Those would be very nice to have for this grind, but unfortunately I do not have one. But uh, let's see, can we get a purple for this duo? Oh, I already saw the key on the left side. Can we get something good at least? And that is terrible, 66k. I have been lended a T-Bow by Max Nick, the guy I just did a duo with, and I'm going to try some higher level solos with this. 275 is not that high at all, but uh, I do want to get a bit higher than that, maybe do an expert as well with the Twisted Bow. Uh, we're not going to talk about it, but I did die on the last round, but I went for another one, and we completed it without a death, so let's see what we're going to be getting for this run, and the Twisted Bow is ridiculously good. I think this percentage is not 100% accurate, 3.79 sounds a bit too high, but let's see, what are we going to get for this run? And we get a white light, but uh, the loot hopefully is pretty decent. 179k, not great. Here's the stats, by the way, all the timings and everything, but uh, I did actually look it up, and 3.79 was actually correct. It just felt kind of high for 275, but uh, 300 is 4.2%, so I guess that makes sense. I'm going to be running a bit of a weird 300 here, I think, but uh, I'm going to run through it real quick so you guys can see all of them, taking a bit too long to explain all of them individually. But the main thing here is that I have dehydration deactivated. Usually when I have the Karis Partisan, I have this activated because then I only bring restores in and I only heal with the Karis Partisan. But I do want to be able to use Ambrosia, so I feel like that's actually kind of worth it for the last boss, and if you have dehydration on, you cannot use that. So I will have both Ambrosia's and Carry's Partisan spec for the last boss, which is basically an Ambrosia effect in itself. Lay on hands give you full HP. If you played World of Warcraft, you know what Lay on hands is. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a good combination. And there we go, that is the 300 completion, I did not die a single time and just about 40 minutes, but luckily I did not have the timer on, so we do have a 4.43% chance of getting a purple, I guess 4.5% because some more when I enter the room, 20,000 points, are we going to get lucky on this one? Please be a purple, it's a key, unfortunate, but the loot is going to be, eh, how much is that worth? Is there no, doesn't even say how much it's worth? All right, it's probably not worth a lot then. Oh, I had no idea. I just clicked on this chest and it said I needed inventory space to claim something. I got the 100 completion cape. Actually looks really good. It is on the com, uh, collection log as well. And if we go over to, of course, raids, tombs of a mascot. There it is. I have overall 100 completions. Actually more than that. I have 86 normal and 18 experts. So yeah, pretty nice. 
Hey, we're making nice progress. We got a 3742 expert raid. And let's actually zoom in for the first time really close here and see what we're going to be getting. Are we going to be getting the first purple or not? And it is a white light again. Is this going to show the loot worth this time? Oh, there we go. 427k. Oh, that is the first elite clue scroll of the grind. I honestly have no idea what the drop rate of this is. It just says varied, so I guess higher drop rate on higher invocation. A new personal best for me on a 300 solo, 37 minutes. Not great by any means, but I'm still learning this quite a lot for another white light. Oh, that is the best loot I've got so far. Nearly 900k, actually pretty good. <laughs> Nick with free ejaculation and shooting planks, man. Name up their duo. <laughs> oh, we actually oh, got a purple. We got, we got it. We got no purple. way, Holy dude. Shit. No, in my recording, Creepers is saying pre something. You know what I mean? The words. <laughs> okay, so Nick, you're the leech and you got the purple. Are you f kidding me? Oh my god, the leech got the. No way. <laughs> no, dude. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna get? Drinking Ambrosia for luck. I'm drinking my uh, smelling salts. Nice. Let's go, dude. And we get ourselves. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. that's not that bad. Split. Yeah. Split, man. How much is it right now? It's 65 mil. Nice. What's the split gonna look like from the Fang on a three man? 21.5 million. Oh, that is definitely pretty decent. I'll take that. Put a mirror. Dude, wait. What are we doing? This is the you're. It's the wrong wait, way. What are you guys you have, doing? You have, to, you have to do. You have to put the mirror here. Wait. No, I literally well, have it. Put one more mirror. mirror. What are you doing? One person put a mirror at the front and it's good. I, I know, I know, but <laughs> wait, was I the only one who had a mirror? Not with you guys, man. Holy shit, man. Was I the no? Oh, <laughs> Dude, I thought I said no. Okay, wait. No. Okay, it's what? Still wrong. <laughs> okay. Dude. It's still wrong. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop trolling me. <laughs> oh fuck! I forgot. <laughs> So while we were doing a three-man, we did Akka, and we had the most unlucky timing you will ever see probably in Raids 3. When it transitioned into the phase where you have to do the patterns in the middle, the shadows on the side, look at this, did the animation at the same time, and we had the black one happening at the exact same moment. We had no idea what the first one was, we actually thought it was bugged, but if you look really closely, you can see that the animation actually went off, but because of the overlap of the shadow animation, we nearly all got KO'd. Luckily, we all had Ambrosia and we got saved. But that was actually... I felt like that was like a one in a million occurrence. Sadly, this clip had some terrible sound in it. I don't know why, but my mic decided to just be absolutely horrendous this recording. And we did actually complete a 320 trio. And we did, when we entered the throne room, see a purple light. So this was really nice. Not in my name, unfortunately. So it does not count as any purple just yet for me. But it is going to be a split nonetheless. And the item that we did receive was actually indeed a pretty good item. It was not the ring, but it was Aos Mountain's Fang again. Second fang split should be around 21.5 million again, maybe a bit lower. Yeah, slightly lower, but not by much, so definitely take that. 320 completion in 38 minutes, I say 3 man, 4A white light, but uh, oh, we got an elite clue scroll and 400k, that really is not that bad. I'm back to soloing again, and I think I'm going to be trying to push it a bit. I do not have the Tumic and Shadow, so I'm not going to be able to do like 400s and stuff like that, but uh, 325 should be a good starting point. And the path rotation that I'm doing, by the way, is uh, I do Baba first, then I do the Kefri room, after that I get Salt, and I do the Seaback room, and then Aka for last, and then of course the last boss. And that is Baba defeated, first boss down. And there is Kefri down, but I'm not sure about my stores for the next two bosses. Hopefully it's going to be enough. So usually I would take power here, but I think I could do with one salt. That should be enough because Chaos has so many restores and Sarabrus. Okay, so we do have Siba killed, but uh, it's not looking great, honestly, because uh, look at this. Aka is level 5, and this is by far the hardest boss in the entire raid, so uh, pray for me. Oh my god, I made it. Oh! Okay, that was really close. I don't have any salt now though, and I kind of have to take life. So this is going to be very rough, but at level 5 Aka, I'm honestly proud that I made that. 
We made it through the first phase. I have salt, but it's just ticking down slowly at the end of the last phase. I will probably not really have much of it left at all, but uh, hopefully we can get lucky with the Tebow hits and actually do this. Oh my god, that was just way too close. A pretty good chance of getting a purple here. I honestly did not expect to actually get that without salt, but uh, I still have some of it left, like half of the effect. Can we get lucky on this? That would be very nice if we could. 5.42% of getting a purple. 45 minute raid. Uh, luckily I did not have the timer on, would have failed that of course. And we get a white light. Unlucky. But how much is it actually going to be worth? It is go- Oh, uh, we actually got the blue crystal. The breach of the scarab, the last one I needed. That is really good in the outside world actually. Like Calphite Queen and stuff like that. But not too useful in the raid. Alright, so I've spent a good amount of time now doing expert runs and I have now done 30 overall completions and we have not seen a purple in my name yet. Of course, I did get those group purples, but none yet counted in my name. And we have made a decent amount of money just from the regular loots, but let's see what the number 30 chest is going to be. And it is a white light again. So it seems like I'm not going to get spooned on this grind and I think because of that I have spent some time thinking about what I can invest in to actually make this grind a bit easier with a 539 million GP that I have. And I think the best move is actually to buy Masori now that I have a twisted bow and it makes the blowpipe quite a lot stronger. And it is kind of cheap before I've bought it and I've sold it back at the end of the video. But currently it is at its absolute lowest and I think buying the gear right now and having it in the bank for future PVMing is going to be a great thing for the account. It's so crazy, the Mosori body which is just an incredible piece of item and the legs as well is 166 mil. If we compare that to the Torva items which is the melee equivalent basically, look how expensive these are. So this is definitely a steal and they even go for lower than that, 162 million and 195 million so we still have 234 million gp and now we have this beautiful set that actually fits really well with my backpack okay i am so impressed by this gear i got a personal best and not only did i get a personal best i got it on a 330 when basically i've only been doing 305s and like 310s in this video so already adding 20 more invocation, even 25, I got a personal best. And I do think Masori is to thank for that. So let's see, we have a 5.4% chance, I guess. And we do get a white light. Wait, hold up. I just entered the room. The puzzle is already completed. But I can't... Uh, do I have to, like, redo it like this? Oh, I have to. Well, I've never seen that before. That is... <laughs> that's funny. Got sent a message by Krebus, so we decided to do some duos, 320s, and after that we actually pushed slightly higher as well. But uh, this is what happened when we did a 320 duo. Geo, geo. Oh, we got it. Oh we my... Got it. Wait, is it mine? Well. It's yeah. mine! Yes, finally, dude, the first purple. Man. Holy... Purple. Let's go, 5.2%. Actually, okay, the item. <laughs> true, the item I'm hunting for is the ring. So let's see what I actually get. Okay, first out of three like potential that. purples. Let's go. What, dude? Please be something good. Just anything. Just not the ward. The ward is the only thing I really don't want. Ah, uh, okay. It's it's something. Yeah, okay. It's something. It's a cool. Yeah, it's something. We take it. We take it. We take it. Hey, it's. Oh, I got an elite clue. And 800k. So oh, I got elite as well. <laughs> but I got 75k loot. I got 800k. Wow. Scammed. Wait, what? I haven't changed my invocations at all. I've never seen one salt in power. That actually screws this run over so much. I don't even know what to do. I guess I'll, uh, I'll just take chaos or something, I guess. But we did manage to save the run anyways with only one salt. I just had to put preserve on for the end and I was fine. Twisted bow popped off. 60 overall experts. Are we going to get lucky? We are not. I did forget my book of the dead for this one, but don't say anything. Because I have thralls now, I have a bit more damage. And I actually did try to get a personal best and we did manage to get it. 35, 58. Not a lot faster than the last one. But are we going to get lucky? We are not. 62 rounds for purple oh God, wait is it no it's, it's yours me. no dude <laughs> okay i told you man i told you because we're not gonna get staff so i might as well go for yeah 
Oh <laughs> my god, actually. Hey, I'm happy I didn't get that, actually. I'm happy I didn't get that. Okay. And the split for this is going to be very small. It's like 3. Point, yeah, 3.7 million split. Oh, uh, unlucky. No back to back. And we are now doing a solo, a pretty slow one, like 40 minutes. And we have a 5.5% chance. And we get a purple! A 5.6% chance, actually. To get a purple, we do manage to hit it. The one in like what? 18, one in 19. Oh, that's so good to see. But let's get into it. Let's actually open the chest. I had to wait for a bit and savor the moment. And uh, yeah, let's see. What is the second purple of the collection going to be? This is what I have right now. We have 65 expert completions. Any of the Masori items except the helmet and also the staff, of course. I think the ward as well I have not received, so let's see what are we going to get for the second unique of the video. Oh, there it is! The light bearer. Normally I would not be happy to see that. But that is now the challenge one. That is the item we were hunting for. Now that the challenge is done, we do actually have some loot boxes to open. The RuneScape version of them. We have both the caches of Rune and we have the elite caskets. I managed to finish five of the six that I got. But let's actually start off by opening all the caches and let's see how much money we made from this. If you're wondering if you're an Iron Man or something, this is uh, how many runes you would get. 1.5 million. Of course, it is pretty RNG. You can get a bunch of other runes like Bloods, I think, as well, and maybe some other type. But yeah, 1.5 million is not too bad. It is now time for the Elites and getting a Master is 1 in 5 from this. So this is a decent chance of actually getting one. It is, you could say, on drop rate to get a Master. So let's actually get into it. The first one is going to be 178k. No uniques. 67k. This is not looking great. 71k. No unique. Oh my god. 25k. It's just getting worse and worse. And the last one is going to be no master. 148k. These were absolutely terrible. I only made 490k from five elite caskets. That is pretty tragic. Now, if you're curious to know how much money I actually made from all the splits and everything that I actually looted from my chests on my own, the overall money that I gained during this video, not counting in supplies, is 102 million GP. So I would definitely say from 51 overall TOAs, some of them in team and a lot of them in solo, that is pretty good money. Now with this video done, I do also want to in the future sometime do the Theater of Blood and Chamber of Zarek, but from this video you can probably realize that drop rates for raids are a bit hard to pinpoint accurately, but I do want to figure it out sometime in the future. Also, I hope you guys liked the video and also liked the new intro that I made a bit more snappier and to the point. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.